Hi YouTube, and welcome back to my Let's Play Minecraft. And this should be my second episode now with Minecraft. And as I promised, I will be doing a new Minecraft episode now uh, going forward every Monday. And as you can see here, where we left off, um, I was starting to build my house um, up on the hill over the um, the caves here. And I just came down into the caves to pick up my um, crafting table and my furnace so that I have them um, in the house instead of down here in the caves. Because um, I prefer crafting and doing all that stuff in my house instead. So just went down and picked those up. And you can see a lovely sunset going on in the game as we climb back up to the house. Eventually I will have a easier way of getting down to the caves um, from the house. Um, I'm actually planning on um, putting in a, uh, a cave system or a cave access from the inside of the house um, right down into the caves, uh, which they're right below the house right now. So um, that won't actually be in this episode, um, but that will be coming up in a future episode. Uh, the majority of this episode is pretty much just me finishing up construction of this house. Um, building these houses, especially since I like building a nice big house, does seem to take quite a bit of time. And so, um, with that being said, you know, I've got to make sure I have enough materials. And that was one of the first things I did was make sure I had enough stone to build the walls. And um, here I'm just kind of... Uh, putting some things together and I decided I might as well go ahead and uh, put in some doors. Um, I'm still in passive mode or peaceful mode so um, I don't really have to worry about monsters um, getting in anyway but um, I just kinda like having the doors in my house. So here we go and just going ahead and putting in the doors and I like having double doors. I know you don't need to have double doors but I like the fact that it allows you to have the double doors both swinging in from the center um, so that's kind of nice and I just kind of like the look of having the double doors so um, I went ahead and did that and now the next thing um, as I mentioned in the last episode is I need sand so I can put in windows. It's one of the reasons I stopped building the walls because I realized I want part of the second row of blocks um, to be window blocks or glass blocks rather than stone so I can look out. Uh, once I switch the game from peaceful to normal mode, um, obviously there's going to be monsters and you can hear the moaning, the, the moaning at night outside and I kind of want to be able to see where they're at. <laughs> um, I think that's an important thing to, to, to know is you know, where are those monsters? Um, especially if I feel like I need to do an excursion outside um, or if I feel like going out and fighting them, uh, it's kind of good to kind of know where they're at so you don't get surprised. But be that as it may, um, first things first, just kind of gathering up all that sand enough to uh, to build out all my windows. So now I'm just going to go back up here and uh, thankfully uh, creating the glass blocks is super easy. You just have to... Um, go to the furnace and smelt the sand into glass. Pretty pretty darn simple. So there we go, there's our furnace. Oh yeah, and I decided, oh yeah, I needed to uh, open up the windows there. And might as well get that, uh, get that glass block cranking out. So it kind of, you can see how slow that arrow goes and it's gonna just kind of slowly crank them out and so while that happens I'm like okay I can start placing the rest of the blocks keeping in mind where I want the windows and you can kind of see me hesitate here and there as I kind of count and look at okay where do I want my blocks where do I want my windows because um, I do like my windows to be centered uh, on each wall and I do like being able to look out all four directions um, I think you know, monsters can come from any direction and you want to be able to see them. Um, I also have, in some of the uh, the previous uh, games I've played on my own, um, have uh, been surprised by, like, I walk out my door and there's a spider. <laughs> so, um, the spiders and the monsters and everything. So, now we've got room here for the windows and here are my first set of windows going in. So I can uh, 
kind of look out and there I kind of skipped going forward there a little bit. I've uh, placed quite a few more windows now and I'm now uh, placing the next tier of the wall. I ultimately end up doing um, basically f uh, four blocks high. The fourth block is the roof line and um, from there I kind of build out the roof but I kind of like having the interior be about three blocks high. Um, I feel I have enough headroom there and I'm like oops trying to place blocks on top of the doors and it's like oh that's not working. Never mind I'll uh, get that later. And you notice here I haven't fin uh, finalized putting in the, the windows here yet but I'm like okay I can just jump up here and put in some more of the stone and then um, to help me get up here and place the stone, I just put a little blocks on the on the ground, which I'll eventually remove later. And uh, slowly the sun, the moon's setting, and the sun's coming up on the other side. So I've been kind of working on this all night, <laughs> literally, at least in in the game time. So there, I've got that done, taken that down for now. Um, I will eventually put in other um, steps and things. Um, just because I, I I will need them for the uh, putting in the roof, but there we go. Now we've got enough glass to uh, put in the final windows and the final bit of wall. There we go, and just a little bit more wall over the doors. There, and we have an intruder. <laughs> Not a monster, just a cow, but he's being a silly cow, so um, I decided to kind of go after him. Shoo, cow. <laughs> like, hmm, steak for dinner. <laughs> so, okay, kind of chase him around. Yep, I got a piece of leather and, and, and a steak, which I can cook later for dinner. Yum. <laughs> Alright, so we now have all the walls we want and all the windows we want. And here I'm now placing um, the next set of blocks so that I can climb up to the next level to put the roof in. However, I've um, decided at this stage in the game I'm not going to use um, stone, cobblestone for the roof. Uh, instead, um, I'm going to want to put in a wood roof. However, I don't have any wood yet, so that's going to be the next task is to go and harvest some wood. I'm like, oops. <laughs> Here we go. I, I was like, you know, while I'm away, I can uh, smelt some iron. And uh, off we go. There's trees in the distance over there, so we're just going to go uh, go exploring across this pasture. And you can see there's a lot of cows out here. Um, they will come in handy later. I'm definitely going to um, hunt down enough cows eventually to uh, make a full set of leather armor. And then uh, the rest of them I will herd together and um, I'm going to try and farm some wheat and uh, breed the cows so that I have a steady supply of leather and meat and milk um, in the future. But that is for a future episode. Um, those are just things I'm kind of noting as I'm kind of getting here and chopping up all the um, all the wood and I'm gonna need a quite a bit of wood so and, it, and I have a couple of choices here in terms of types of wood um, I forget exactly which kind of wood I'm getting now yeah, I don't think this is spruce but um, yeah, I completely forget. You guys are probably screaming at me, those of you who are uh, experienced Minecraft players uh, screaming the name of the type of wood. Um, but you can also see that there's birch um, in the area, but I've opted not to get the birch, at least not at this point. And I'm just taking a note here that there's also a nice pool of lava. And uh, it's my understanding that there are some uh, uses, good uses of lava. Um, that uh, will be kind of later in the game. I need to build a bucket or something and get buckets of lava for... I forget exactly what, what the use is, but um, I'm just kind of making a mental note there that, oh yeah, there's a, a nice pool of lava for me to to be able to kind of mine, so to speak. Um, and here I'm picking up some saplings and things, which I can um, then also plant some trees around my house. Um, and I'm also going to... Um, in the, the garden that I'm planting in the back of the house, um, that's probably where I'm going to grow the wheat um, for the cows. And there's like tons of cows around, so this is a good thing. 
Um, it's my understanding that the cows are the most um, useful of the um, creatures that you can have uh, in World of Warcraft in terms of, of breeding animals. Um, the chickens and the um, and the pigs only give you uh, meat, and, uh, and the chickens also give you feathers, um, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but the cows give you leather, uh, which you can make into armor and other other types of things, and they also give you um, the beef. Um, that you can make it a steak and the uh, the milk. So there's a number of things there that you can use. So um, having having cows initially is a good thing, and then I may expand out and try and breed um, some pigs and chickens as well. We'll see. But here we go. We're back at the house now, and we're starting the roof line. Um, I kind of like outlining um, the entire um, kind of foundation of the house first. Uh, for the roof and then building out the roof from there. So here you can see I kind of fast forward a little bit there and um, kind of placing in um, now the actually bringing the roof out but I just realized oops I <laughs> ran out of wood again. Uh, I didn't quite gather enough wood so I've kind of got to go back out and here I'm placing a couple of torches because Considering um, the time of day that I'm going, um, by the time I get back it's going to be dark, so it'll be easier for me to find the house um, in the dark if I have torches gr um, burning in the house. So um, I kind of skipped past all that wood chopping again because I figured, you know, you see me chop wood once, you've seen it a hundred times. Um, but here I am coming back to the house. You can see how easily uh, you can see the house. It's glowing nicely because of the... Um, the torches in there and uh, here we go closing the doors and going ahead and putting up the rest of the roof so I kind of like having the roof look a different color and when I was in creative mode I kind of used obsidian um, but you know obviously that's not going to be something a resource I'm going to have anytime soon so anyway so here I am now that I've got a full roof you know, nicely fortified house with doors, windows, full walls, and the uh, the complete roof now. Um, I'm taking down these kind of structures that I was using to help me get up and build everything. And one of the things I've kind of I'm kind of realizing as I'm kind of walking around um, the house is, you know what? I have a grass dirt floor. Hmm. Um, that's not very attractive. So one of the next things I'm going to do in the next episode is put in a wood floor. Um, but this will be it for today's episode. Thanks for joining me. Uh, until next Monday, thanks. Bye-bye.